morning. Happy Tuesday, I believe it is. Um, I am just going to take you through the process of doing just a quick little painting this morning before I have to go to work. Um, just to show you that, you know, you can do a little painting um, fairly quickly and get some of the creative therapy in uh, before you start your day. Uh, everyone's asleep at my house still. <laughs> Um, I usually wait the first one up and so we might hear some kids start wrestling or, or getting up. Um, so anyways, uh, so I, like I said, I'm going to hop on live and cr paint a quick little, uh, flamingo. Um, I've seen the flamingos around and so I'm going to give it a try and these are the colors that I'm using. Um, which are really fun colors, the pinks and the, and the turquoises. Uh, if you haven't heard me talk extensively about it, we are in our founding members launch for Redbird Designs, um, or Redbird Red Designs, Redbird Retreat online paint membership. I guess let me introduce myself. I'm Bertie Larson uh, with Redbird Designs. And, uh, so we're in our founding members launch. We have two days left to sign up today and tomorrow. Uh, founding member launch is um, just our founding members coming alongside of us, helping us build this program since it is brand new and we're still working out uh, you know, some of the wrinkles of a brand new uh, online membership. And so we're asking people to come alongside of us as a founding member. Uh, and in return for helping us build this, helping us, you know, work out the kinks, uh, you do get a discount, a, a very large discount. So it's $27 a month, um, or you can pay 270 a year. Um, and then we will close the doors tomorrow at midnight for this and won't reopen until the fall. And at that time it will be full price. So if you're thinking about it, um, now is the time to get on because again, it is a huge discount. You get so much content for $27 a month. Um, we'll do a painting every week. You'll have bonus content, uh, a private Facebook group, uh, where we can connect and encourage one another on our painting journeys. We're going to have fun. We'll do challenges. We'll do games inside the group. Um, it'll give you the opportunity to learn and grow. Um, and then, um, Art is healing, so uh, you'll have some opportunity to heal from the day-to-day -day stresses and worries of the world. So, um, with that, all that being said, <laughs> let's let's get to doing some painting. So, like I said, I'm going to paint a flamingo uh, with these colors. I've got a. Uh, I'm using the Anita's paint brand from Hobby Lobby. And I think it's the Rustoleum brand. Yep, Rustoleum brand. And I've got a light coral, light turquoise, island green, hay, fuchsia, and then in the Deco Art Americana brand, I'm using cotton candy. Um, and I've already pre drawn uh, just an outline of the flamingo. Let me turn my light on so that we don't. See if I can get rid of that shadow a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start by throwing some teal. Oh, and I'm also using just a white, uh, apple barrel white, but any white would work there. And then um, I'll throw some black in there. So I'm gonna start with my background and I'm going to grab a lot of white and a little bit of the turquoise. And just throw some color on the background here. So I'm loading my brush up with white and I'm just dipping it into the light turquoise and doing a, a light blend on my mixed media pad. I don't want to overly blend it and just create a even lighter color of the two. Um, but you can kind of see how you've got the white and then some of the um, light turquoise in there coming through. So you can 
definitely tell the two different colors. This background is always fun because one, it's fairly quick, it's forgiving, and really easy. So if you join us as a founding member, you also get, on top of the discounted price, um, a little gift from us. If you join as a monthly member, you get a set of new brushes and a cute little water cup with a cozy on the bottom and a little tag that says Redbird Retreats. And I don't have it in front of me. I'm sorry about that. Um, but you'll get that as a founding member and then also a set of new brushes um, and it's these uh, the fine touch brushes that I use and then if you join as a yearly member a yearly subscription you'll get both those items as well as a personalized apron and so once the doors close on Wednesday, we will send out, um, if you're local, we'll hand deliver it on Thursday or we will ship your gift to you on Thursday. There we go. So fairly quick background there. And then I'm going to grab the cotton candy and add my base coat to my flamingo. And I'm still just using my large flat brush just so that I can quickly get the paint down. These colors are so summery colors, I love them. So I don't have my iPad out this morning. I can't really see comment. Well, I can kind of see your comments looking up at my phone here that's above me. So if you're hopping on, say hi. Just doing a quick little painting this morning before work. We get some paint time in. Painting a flamingo. Good morning, Sandy. 
Okay, so I'm going to switch brushes to around. Let me find my round. So just a round brush here, and while my flamingo is wet, I am going to add some highlight and some other different colors to her. So I'm going to add some fuchsia and some of the light coral, which is an orangey color. And actually, I need a little bit more pink. Or the cotton candy, I should say. Okay, so I'm just gonna have add some dark lines here for indicate some feathers. Some shadow under the head and around the neck. And I'm going to go back to the pink while my brush has both colors in there and just kind of follow those lines around, blend it just a little bit. But I want those colors to really stand out, so I'm not going to blend them too much. Okay. And I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm going to just go to that light coral color and add some brush strokes in the flamingo. You're doing another one? I'm doing another flamingo, yeah. So I'm gonna go to the white and add some highlights. So I'm just layering color on the flamingo. alternating between all these colors and I'm not washing my brush because I want my colors to blend just a little bit.
Okay, so we'll let that dry. We might come back and add some color to that or some more brush strokes. Let's grab some of this white and paint the beak. Fill in the eye. And I'll grab some black. So this flamingo is more of an abstract, just fun, whimsical flamingo. I love this type of painting because it's very forgiving. Very fast. some streaks of white in the beak. And then streaks of black or gray in the top part of the beak there, just for a little definition. So I'm going to go back to some pink and just add some pink in some areas here. So if you're catching this on the replay later in the day, uh, do still say hi, because I do go back and check in on comments and stuff. And if you uh, love painting, 
comment that you do paint or you love or maybe you want to learn how to paint or whatever stage of painting you're in, comment below. And then I'm going to add, I think, just some fun streaks of paint around in the background of the pink around the flamingo. Add some white to that. maybe a little bit of yellow if you're on the fence or interested in the online paint membership but just aren't sure and you have questions please feel free to message me um, and I'd be happy to help you out there. So I'm just trying to blend some white into my background a little bit. Or not white, but yellow. Or maybe a little bit of some sunshine. Just around the edges, I think. I think I like that. Okay, so I'm going to add some black to my brush now. We're just kind of finishing our flamingo off, and I'm just going to quickly add just some fun uh, outline or lines around the flamingo. Not a complete outline. Just to add a little definition. These colors are so fun. Add a couple here in the back feathers. Add a couple dots to the beak. What do you think? When you're painting, it's also fun just to add some of the background color onto the your focus point. So let's add some, just a few blue streaks in the feathers here. Maybe a couple yellow. Kind of helps tie it together. 
And you also then can add some of the, you know, flamingo colors to the background, like I added some of the pink around the flamingo. Into the background. to the top here. Maybe there's some reflection off its feathers from the sun. And there we go. I think we can call that one good. So thanks for watching. Um, whether you're watching live or you're watching the replay, I just wanted to hop on this morning and show you um, just a quick little painting you can do uh, with less than an hour, right before work, um, just in a mixed media pad, just a few colors, something fun. Doesn't have to be a serious painting, doesn't have to be something that you're going to hang on your wall. Uh, painting is more about the process and learning and growing and just having fun. Um, and then the added bonus of creating something that you can hang on your wall is, is just an added bonus on that one. So anyways, uh, be sure to um, like our page, uh, tag a friend and share for the uh, um, door prize that we'll be giving away tomorrow after the doors, well, we'll probably give it away on, thir do the drawing on Thursday after the doors close tomorrow. Um, we have two days left of the online paint membership, so make sure to get signed up for that if you want to paint along with us every month. It's $27 a month. The doors will close tomorrow at midnight. Um, and that's all I have for you guys. You guys have a great day, and thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.